okay? And coaching, coaching is, let's say, it's based on trust. So let's say, no, it is based on trust. So we need to create rapport. We need to build a relationship with our clients. Confidentiality is crucial, okay? And what does a coach do? Actually, let's say that a coach helps people develop their abilities, helps people develop their talent, talent, sorry, is a good listener, okay? So ask the right questions in order to, if you're a good listener, then you can ask the right question in order to help the other person continue expressing and give supported feedback, okay? Well, so trying to summarize the different ideas. I talked about the global knowledge economy, okay? This is the big picture, a global knowledge economy. And we talk about global knowledge societies and workers, okay? Then we have learning organizations, firms, companies, institutions, organizations that want to be part of this global knowledge economy are becoming learning organizations, right? And then we have our clients, okay, that our clients need English in order to be able to be part of this learning organization of this global knowledge economy because this is the language in which they exchange knowledge and they create and produce new knowledge, right? So what is our role here? Well, our role is to create this powerful and effective learning experience, experiences in English to help them achieve their career goals, okay? Well, here we have the references if you want to find out more about this. Okay, thank you very much. Now if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I cannot hear anything now. Okay, there is a question here, Dave Volek from Canada. Uh, he's saying, do you develop your own simulations? Yeah, actually uh, we do so. It's not just, it's not that I do it myself. Again, as I explained before, there is a team of, fortunately we have a team of very well-known, very uh, well-developed professionals. Um, we do that together. Saying, uh, very nice presentation. I was just wondering about what you said about embedding learning in the learning organization and also about informal learning in creating this experience. Could you say a little bit more about that? Okay. Yeah, actually what we do, uh, we work together with the organizations themselves, right? Um, depending on the organization, uh, how we deal with that, okay? Uh, for instance, some organizations uh, already have like management universities inside for managers, okay, inside the, uh, the organizations. So maybe we participate there or either we work with the people in charge of human capital and try to integrate English into the other, um, uh, I don't want to use training programs, <laughs> that's why it's difficult to find a word, but the idea is to embed that into the daily life. I mean, they have different opportunities. They are using English all the time, right? So they can ask questions whenever they want. That's why we mentioned, I mentioned the virtual platform. Or in other situations, what we actually do is, uh, for instance, uh, we create, not only we create events, but sometimes they have 
certain events, so we go and help them. We work together with the organization creating these events in English. Uh, I don't know if I'm being clear, because that changes a lot depending on the culture of the organization. Um, I think it's clear. So the learning, the learning platform, obviously the virtual platform is very important, but actually also actually coaching on location, coming into the organization on location in the workspace, obviously very yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree with you. We usually what uh, is something is a combination of both. Um, how can I express it? There are certain organizations in which we are, let's say, almost part of the organization. They know that whenever they, they know we are there, we go there, and whenever they need something, either they have to work with a global team to present proposals or something, we work together with them, helping them develop that proposal. Okay, and that can be either face to face, we go there and maybe we spend a whole afternoon helping them, the team that needs to present the proposal, working together with them. In other situations, it's just questions, so we do that online. That's what I'm saying, that would depend on the context. Uh, or sometimes, as I was saying, it's more like it takes the form more of a coaching, like coach, well, uh, something related to what we talked before about performance based. So if they need a specific event, they need to, to participate uh, in, a part, in a specific group. Maybe we, one person needs to do that. Well, we coach him, we work together with him to help him achieve that goal. And that can be face-to-face -face again, or it's blended usually, OK? Any other questions? Um, um, I haven't got a question so much as just um, I would like to thank you very much for um, your talk, which was for me an absolute eye opener, um, especially your comment on the immersion, the fact that you operate in, a, in an immersion environment with the clients. And I also like that you call them clients, that your clients speak and operate in because this makes the most of the informal learning opportunities and the collaborative nature of what they're trying to do. English in an immersion environment becomes a tool. It's not a goal, it's a tool whereby the clients achieve their collaborative goal. And I think you, you, you put that so well and thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.